No one can question the fact that the government that Gibraltar has now, and of which I form a part, works hard. There are many press statements and press calls, sometimes several in a day, as we share the main things that we're doing and achieving with you, the people who we are here to serve. What may not be that obvious is the amount of work that we do quietly, day to day, working with our teams in running and improving this small but diverse and complex community. First of all, I'd like to thank all those of you in the public service, in government agencies, authorities and related organisations for all that you do. You know who you are. From someone who quietly cleans a corridor in St. Bernard's Hospital or deals with supplies to Mount Alvernia, checks our water quality or delivers a baby, they, you, are the ones that make Gibraltar tick. And tick it does because our success as a community and an economy is not coincidence, is not just because we are lucky, but because we are devoted and proud of what we do. A lot of my time at work goes towards ensuring that all these colleagues are supported and that the service users receive the service they deserve. You don't hear a lot about that. You will have heard, for example, of our moving out of KG5 to the new Ocean Views, but maybe not so much about how soon we'll be opening a new home for those with dementia and a centre for 90 of our elderly to be looked after during the day. That all takes up a lot of time of a lot of people who will be making sure all is organised and going well. What you will have heard about, for example, is how much we've improved the Upper Rock, where we now have new picnic sites and new paths. You will have heard about steps we're taking to protect and enrich our wildlife, like successfully releasing Barbary partridges and rabbits and making sure that swifts have sites to nest in in the town. You will also have heard of how we're improving marine life with new licensed angling, reef creation and planting seagrasses. And many of you will be enjoying seeing our marine life live on the Thinking Green website. Look up towards the rock from anywhere in town or as you come towards it across the airfield. You can't fail to notice how new and fresh the townscape is with all the new refurbished rocks, for example. Most of you will have enjoyed Commonwealth Park now looking even more beautiful than it did when it opened a year ago. And there will be very few of you, only two last year, who in the past two years have had an operation cancelled at St. Bernard's due to the lack of beds, when this used to happen to many people every week. Waiting lists, still long for my liking, have also come down drastically. We now have more and better options for healthcare referrals outside Gibraltar when this is necessary, and we're able to treat many more patients here. Later this week, the GHA launches its new electronic health record, starting at the health centre and a and &E. As this develops, it means that all your records will be on computer and accessible by all your doctors wherever you see them. No more lost notes or lost referral letters. All that and everything else can only be achieved through hard work and dedication on the part of those who devote themselves to serving you day by day. Many other things too are done quietly and without fuss. In my own departments and authorities, the care of thousands of patients and elderly, monitoring of water and air quality, looking after the environment, production of water and production of electricity. And I don't shy away from mentioning this. You will, of course, all be aware that we've had a few power cuts recently. What you may not realise is that this year is the year with by far the fewest power cuts for over 20 years and that at the start of the year it was the longest we've been without a power cut since our records began. But the most important point to make is that here too we owe so much to the workforce. The way they work with equipment that should have been replaced 30 years ago with virtually no computerization, using purely their experience and skill to get power back when it's failed. It's nothing short of heroic. Fortunately, despite all the scaremongering and misinformation, we are well on track to delivering the ultimate in safe and clean power generation, which will include renewable energy in the form of solar and other technology. We will soon provide the concrete proof of this. 
Don't believe the prophets of doom and the stories of Armageddon. As many of you know, I've spent my whole life working for a safe environment and I have no intention of changing now. This is the first government in our history to actually have an energy policy and to have achieved a reduction in the release of carbon while the economy has still grown. In the background too is all the work towards modern, clean sewage and refuse treatment which, as part of our environmental strategy, will result in a bright new Gibraltar. All the new projects, including the east side, will be developed in a sustainable and environmentally friendly manner, ensuring they are energy efficient, clean and provide Gibraltar with environmental gains. For as long as I am a minister in your government, I will ensure that this is so. There are many other things I can think of too, like the new Cemeteries Act, the Transformational Mental Health Act, work on litter and noise, improving Gibraltar-based training for nurses, making health and care workers more professionally regulated. Four years may seem a long time, but they pass so quickly when you're busy, or as they say, time flies when you're having fun. But they aren't enough. There was so much of the past to brush clean, so many things that were set in their ways to review and refresh. I've learned a great deal, and I'm excited that I am now more prepared than ever to carry on the work with challenging new commitments and a very bright future. So thank you, most sincerely, to all of you who've been there, working for Gibraltar. We are transforming our rock, and we've only just begun. The best part of the journey, our journey, starts here. Thank you for listening, and good evening.